Hi there, so this is the first installment of a gorilla cheese and beer tasting outside St. Pancras Station here. I'm here with my good pal, Christina Pickard. Hi, Christina. Hi, Nathan. <laughs> We've got some of these cheeses here that I tasted before um, from the Glagora dairy. So this is La Chouf, and this is a nice uh, alternative for me. I am wine with Christina, so most of the time I'm drinking wine, so it's nice to have a little break and uh, drink some beer. This is a blonde beer from the Ardennes. It's 8%, and we're going to try it with some of this cheese. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna get to get my notes out, and I'm going to check the pronunciation on this, this other cheese. Can I slurp and swirl the way that, that I would with you can do. Beer? You can do whatever you need to. You can do whatever you need to. This jig... Jiglazen. Yeah. Jiglazen. I'm struggling with the pronunciations of this cheese. Three different um, milks in there. Cow's milk, sheep's milk, and goat's milk. And so it's really lovely intensity of that. And they actually go really well. The beer's got this hoppy kind of apricot, golden loveliness to it. And then you just have this really lovely creamy, some of those salt crystals you were talking about in there. It's thumbs up. So it gets that, a thumbs up from me. That's the le, that's the lechouf. When it goes really well with the jig le yen cheese. Well done. Yeah, I got it right well that done. time. So let's try it with some of this tartuffi. It's really powerful. The tartuffi Which truffle cheese. Oh, this is the truffle. So this, this is cows. This is cow's milk. Whoa! The <laughs> truffles just completely. Hit you straight away. It is all truffles. Oh my god. That's gonna take an intense beer to live up to that. I don't know if this is gonna do it. I've been a little bit ahead of the game there. I think it's great. I think it really works. I think it catches the truffle. Do you think it might it might subdue it too much? I have to disagree with you, Nolan. She disagrees with me. That's quite all right. <laughs> I think that actually it's those truffles are so powerful that to me it's completely wiping the beer out. All I'm getting is the truffle and the beer is turning into this watery nothing. She isn't a beer person, by the way. Just, ah. just, to, just to put that out there. But I have an excellent. The Jig Le Yen cheese is winning. Let's try the third cheese. Um, again, we're with this La Chouf, which is um, fairly widely available. This is sheep's cheese. This is the 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 Pashki Sir, which is the which is sort of the flagship cheese of the Glagora dairy on in Kolan on the island of Pag in Dalmatia. It's got more of a sort of a deeper, nuttier flavor though, mm. to me. It is you don't get nice. the salt crystals like you get in the other one. I think overall, this lechouf has gone really well with all the cheeses. There's um, the alcohol at eight percent that can cope with the intensity of the cheese. There's all that sort of golden richness in there, and like you said, apricot, a little bit of fruit in there. But really, I think I think it's done quite well. This is the winner, though. Jig le yen cheese, the three the three milk cheese from Glagora. For me is the winner. Is the winner.